Well, greetings one and all. Welcome to another afternoon session, another spot of homely fun, presenting the people to the people. You meet the people in a moment. Here's the homely fun. It comes from uh, Steve Willimott of Doncaster. That's a nice name, isn't it, a Willimott? It's like a Gillimott. Do you spell it like that, but with a W? <laughs> I did say Willimott, uh, Carol. Hmm. Have you never Any... heard of a Gillimott? <laughs> it's a bird, <laughs> yeah, a Gillimott. Exactly. A Willimott is not a bird. I was just... Just I was just checking the spelling because that's what I'm Carol, in charge of. When you're in a hole, stop digging, Carol. <laughs> now, dear Richard, just a few lines which may amuse. And these are quite clever, so I'll read them slowly. <laughs> so I can understand them. Uh, the first one this. We know, we all, we all, actually, we've heard this. Is there another word for synonym? Well, ah. uh, atheism is a non profit organisation. What do park rangers do to get away from it all? What was the best thing before sliced bread? And here's an interesting one. Oh. If you try to fail and succeed, which have you done? Ah, now I like that one. If you try to fail and succeed, what have you done? So you've tried to fail. That you've, and, and then you've succeeded you have in failed. failing. You've succeeded in failing. Yeah, so you failed so and succeeded. So you failed at failing. Yes. Yeah. It's well, that's what we do most days, isn't it? <laughs> no, I was just thinking that. <laughs> that's very much how, how like the home life of dear Richard and Carol. <laughs> right, OK, well, thank you, Steve Williamot, for that. And now, here's the people that we're presenting you to, and you've already been presented to Peter, because he's here for the fourth time. Welcome back, fourth-time champion Peter Coots. And, ladies and gentlemen, with great pleasure, I present you to our challenger today, Karen Meredith. <laughs> Peter and Karen. Well, you scored your century yesterday, Peter, didn't you? 102. Oh, yes. And it could have been bigger if you'd got that... Uh, you got the nine-letter word, of course, and then you just blobbed on a, on a numbers game that was, well, so frustrating for you in the end, wasn't it, really? <laughs> there was a, he, was six, he was six away, and Carol was working it out. She said, well, of course, he could have just added the six. There was a six left, and he hadn't seen it. Never mind. He did 102, so no complaints, eh? Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Now, Karen, we welcome <coughs> you. She's from... Is it Karen or Karen? Karen. Karen. From Romsey in Hampshire, mm -hmm. she's married with two teenage sons. She works as a full-time housewife and mother, quite right. Uh, her hobbies include fiction writing and playing the guitar. She also says she likes the music of Simon and Garfunkel, but she's hoping not to be homeward bound come five o'clock. <laughs> ah, we're hoping that she can stay for tomorrow, but we'll see how you get on. So we'll let's to Karen Meredith. <laughs> how old are the boys? Uh, 15 and 16. Well, they're watching. Uh, yes, in embarrassment, I think. Do they, do they persuade you to, to apply? Uh, they try to talk me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> shame, lads, shame. What are their names? Uh, Barry and Alex. Barry and Alex. We're yes. very glad your mum's here. She's looking on good form. OK, mm -hmm. now, uh, yesterday, on his uh, debut, debut performance in Dictionary Corner, um, our G of the D came up with the eight-letter word Implored, implored. Well, they say beggars can't be choosers. But if they could, <laughs> they'd surely choose the up-and-coming team of Richard Sampson and Simon Hoggan. <laughs> Hello there. Was it much as you expected yesterday, Simon? Well, it was thrilling beyond belief. I've got two teenage kids too, and they're just praying that their friends won't get home from school before this goes out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they'd be proud of you, Simon. Proud of you. Now, Pe first. Yes, OK. <laughs> Peter and Karen. Peter, off you go. Hello, Carol. Hello. Uh, consonant, please. Thank you, Peter. C. And another? V. <laughs> and a third one? B. A vowel? U. And another vowel? O. And a third vowel? E. Consonant? S. Another consonant? M. And a final vowel. And A. Thank you. First countdown of the day.
Yes, Peter. Just five. Right, Karen. Uh, just five, two. OK, what have you got, Karen? Uh, cause, C-A-U-S-E. Yeah, Peter? Suave. What? How do you spell that? Suave. S-U-A-V-E. S-U-A-V. Suave. Suave, yes. Ah, suave. Yeah. Like you, Richard, really? Absolutely. Of course, of course. Suave. Anything better, Simon? Cameos. Which is six. Yes, cameos is there for six. But the only six we could find. OK, cameos. Never mind. Five here we got off the mark in good style. So now, Karen, your turn. Um, hello, Carol. Hello, Karen. Um, consonant, please. Thank you. P. And another... L. And another... D. And a vowel... I. And another... E. And a consonant... T. And another vowel... A. And another consonant... G. And another consonant, please. And N. Thank you. With that, we say, on with the clock. Um, eight. Good. Peter. Eight. Mm, um, Peter's eight. Pleading. Pleading. And also pleading. Yeah. Good. Well, that's excellent. So two eights there for pleading. Well done. <laughs> so is it ING helped a little Simon? Anything else you can no, offer? No, we, uh, we got pleating, just to be different. Mm. There's also delating. Delating is there for eight, means to report something. OK, well, a couple of other eights there, but uh, the eight that counted was got by these two. So, 13 and 13. Peter, then, letters, please. Consonant, please, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, another consonant. R. And the third. T. Vowel. O. And another vowel. U. Got and a uh, third vowel. A. Uh, consonant. S. Another consonant. N. And uh, another consonant. And D. Thank you. Counting down from now. Thank you. Now then, Peter, how many? Seven. Seven. And Karen? Six. We hear the six, then. Uh, quotas. Yes, quotas, that's uh, with an A-S in the end. Quotas. Now, the seven... A stone. A stand. Not as well using the Q and the U, so a stand, fine. Simon? Well, the longest we've got is squadron, Richard. So, which is eight. Uh, or the equal longest, we've got rotundas, which is also eight. OK. Yeah. Well, we like Squadron. Squadron's a nice one. A new one for us, actually. Hand on Squadron. So, then the scores are 20 and 13. And, Karen, your letters, please. Um, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. P. Um, and another. Come out of the box. M. And another, please. G. And a vowel. E. And another one. I. And another one. O. And a consonant, please. R. And another one. L. Um, and another one, please. And C. Thank you. Here we start the clock.
right now, Karen? Oh, uh, just five, I'm afraid. OK, there's a five. Now, what have you got, Peter? Seven. You've got a seven. What have you got for five, Karen? Grope. Yes, grope there for five. Grope. Seven. Implore. Implore. Just spell that. I-M-P-L-O-R-E. Well, it's all there for seven uh, in implore. Yeah. Simon. Well, we did have implore, but we also had compiler for eight. Oh. Well, I mean, there's who... Richard, your pals who do the dictionary, they're compilers, I suppose, aren't they? Yep, absolutely. One who produces, you know, a report or a dictionary yes. or what have you. A, a compiler. compiler. Right. Well, 27 and 13 now. We come to the numbers. Peter, please. One large one and any other five, please, Colonel. Thank you, Peter. One from the top. And five little leaves. Three, nine and two. Three, seven and twenty-five. And a target of 685. OK, 685, 685. So, we're looking at 685 then, Peter. 685. Right. Karen? Uh, 685. OK. Well, you're the new girl, Karen. <laughs> so this is where your lads will be proud of you. 685. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three times nine is 27. Three nines is 27. Times by 25 is 675. It is. Then three plus seven is 10. Yeah. And add it on. And add them on. 685. Yes. Peter? Exactly the same. Yeah, it's Simon. Yep. OK, <laughs> ten points to both of them. So, 37 and 23. Good. OK, end of... Uh, almost end of the first half. Uh, we're handing over to you, Simon, to take us into almost the end of the first half. Well, you know, everybody goes on about how awful MPs are and says how dreadful politicians are, and uh, I don't really agree, except you should hear they're much ruder about each other than we are about them. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a famous story about a new MP who came into the chamber, made his maiden speech, and afterwards an old-timer turned to him and said, my dear boy, that was a Rolls Royce of a speech. He's very pleased with himself, so he went to the tea room and he sat down and he told the next chap who came in, he said, I've just been told I made a Rolls Royce of the speech by one of the oldest members. Now, I'm afraid we've got it wrong. It wasn't meant as a compliment, said the old man. What he meant was that it was very well oiled, <laughs> you were almost inaudible, and you lasted forever. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, good. Well, that's it. Um, now, it, now, this uh, um, is interesting. Well, slightly interesting. Because what you're going to see now actually is a word, um, uh -huh. but it's not the word that we want. I'll tell you what it's got... I'll just say, I know you're all... Think, what's he rabbiting on about? We're going to show you Mankia now, but Mankia actually it turns into another word, which is not quite as well known as Mankia. Do you understand? Yes, Richard. Well, it... <laughs> well here it is Mankia. <laughs> Yes, you see, mankia, I mean, not a very nice word, but mankia, and it turns into ramekin, which is a sort of, oh, yeah. sort of dish to put stuff in, isn't it? It's a yeah. little pot. Yes, anyway, mankia and a ramekin there. Okie doke. Well, 37 for our champion Peter Coots, and our challenger here, Karen Meredith, on 23, so she's very relaxed about things, aren't you, Karen? Yes. <laughs> yes. And I lie. Right. Anyway, off you go. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Karen. H. And another. S. And another. W. And another. T. And a vowel. A. And another. E. And one more, please. I. And a consonant. R. And one more. And Y. Thank you. Here we go.
OK, Karen? Um, six. Right, Peter? Seven. Right here, there's six, Karen? Uh, whiter. Whiter, yes, whiter. As opposed to whiters, but whiter. Um, Peter? Wreaths. 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 There it is. Yeah. Looks, doesn't look as though it should be seven, does it? Wreaths. It's, but it is, I suppose. But uh, it doesn't look a long word. Wreaths. Right. Um, Simon? Well, we've got two very good rural sevens. There's Withers, which is the side of a horse. And there's Haywire, which is that kind of springy wire you can't do anything with and indicates that you've gone completely bonkers. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, if, if you weren't completely bonkers, you'd be suffering from hysteria, which is there for eight. Hysteria is there for eight. OK, hysteria. Right, let's go on then. The scores are 44 and 23, and we have Peter's letters. Consonant, please, Carol. H. And another. M. And the third one. N. Vowel. E. Another vowel. O. And a third vowel. I. Consonant. D. Another consonant. Z. And uh, another consonant. And L. Thank you. Here we go. Peter. Just five. Now the five. And Karen? Uh, just five, two. OK, Karen, what have you got? Uh, lined. L-I-N-E-D. Good. Peter? Model. 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 Is it a model? <laughs> it's a model. Can you do anything better than that, Simon? A model? No, we haven't at all. We've got homed, mined, oiled, lots of fives. OK, so there it is. So we got by five, just, just the five, 49 and 28. Karen, letters, please. Right. Consonant, please. Thank you. S. And another K. And another R. And one more T. And a vowel, please. A. And another O. And another E. And a consonant P. And uh, one more consonant, please. And J. Yes, and there we are. So now we have Karen to say... Uh, six. And Peter to say... Seven. <laughs> it's always, he's one of these people, there's always one ahead, isn't it? <laughs> um, uh, what's the sixth then? Uh, orates. Orates, you see, good word, orates, excellent, well said. Orates, Peter. Proteus. Oh, Proteus, now that's the symbol of South Africa, it's a Tis. plant. Yes, I happen to know that, Proteus. Oh. It's lovely. There it is. Yeah, that's a good seven. Simon? Well, I was really proud of getting pre-soak, but unfortunately it's not in the dictionary. It's not there, no. Should be, but it's not. It should be, but it's not. Uh, so we've got pasta for six. Or, or skater is there as well for six. Uh, you only got sixes? Yep. Ah, well, boyo. Beat the panel here. Well done, Peter, with that one. With Protea. Good. 56 and 28. Right, two rounds to go in this half. Letters from Peter. Uh, vowel, please, Carol. I. And another... A. Consonant. G. And another consonant. V. And a third consonant. C. Vowel. O. And another consonant. And S. And another consonant. L. And another consonant. To and finish. a consonant. That's N. OK, the clock's starting now.
all right, Peter? Eight. An eight. No, Karen? Uh, sorry, seven. Right. Oh, just that went away again. What's the, what is it? Slaving. Slaving, yes. Slaving. Hot stove comes to mind, Peter. Carvings. Carvings, yeah. Just spell it. C A L V I N G S. Oh, carving. That, that's in. Car having, having a, a carving. Having a carve. Carvings. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Depends on whether carving I'm, has a noun. You never hear it in the arches. <laughs> Where's Phil? Always oh, be going out carving. You don't hear that much, do you? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Carve carving would have to be here as a noun, and not a mass noun. It's not there. <laughs> but if a cow is, I don't know, if a cow is giving birth to a calf, is a cow carving? That's what I'm. Yeah, yeah. The, yes, the, word, the verb not... to carve there, so carving would be fine. Yes. But carving doesn't exist as a noun, ah, therefore right, you can't yes, pluralise it. Yes. So Phil actually could be out cut. Yes, anyway, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Um, slaving. Slaving. <laughs> OK. Doris Archer. Was always, she was always slaving over the hot stove, wasn't she? Right, slaving there. For it. Now then, um, oh, did anything else? Solacing. Oh, solacing. For yeah. eight. For eight. Yep. Just spell that, it's a difficult one. S-O-L-A-C-I-N-G. OK, just look at the scores now before we go on to the numbers. 56 and 35. Uh, Karen, numbers, please. Um, oh, six small ones, please, six Carol. Six small ones? Yes, please. <laughs> OK, I'll have that one, I think. I'm very small. Two and eight, one and five, six and one. God, they are low. Small, small ones. Ah! <laughs> With a huge what? target. Good luck, <laughs> 705. What have you done, Karen? What have you done? <laughs> what are you going to do? The more important, 705. <laughs> if it was, a, of course you would. If I was in charge, but her ladyship won't let you, I'm sure. Uh, no? No, nothing. Right, Peter. No, no. no. Hear it. Sorry. It was a beast. Mm. What do you think, Carol? Well, I multiplied everything together and got 690, that, so I was 15 away. So. Yeah. Well, just just a, a bridge too far, as it were. Just mm. a. A little one That's too far. Too OK, well, we can't get it, so we'll move on. 56 and 35, that's how we'll end this half with this uh, wonderful... This is a bit easy, this one, everybody. This is a uh, gate slip. Gate slip, and this turns into something rather nice. <laughs> Pigtails, there it is. Pigtail. The only hairdo that Carol's hasn't had over the years is a pigtail. <laughs> i do it tomorrow. <laughs> no. Will you? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, pigtail, if you got that, well done. Well, 56 and 35, now it's Peter's letters. Consonant, please, Carol. R. And another one. T. And a third one. D. Vowel. E. Another vowel. U. And a third vowel. E. Consonant. T. Another consonant. R. And uh, a final consonant. And F. Yes, indeedy. Seven. Yeah, Karen? Seven. Good. 
What do you got? Uh, refuted. Yes, refuted. Good. Excellent. For seven, Peter. Uttered. And uttered. Uttered and refuted. Returfed. Yes. Yep. Returfed is there for eight. That's what you do to your football pitch, isn't it, when it's all got cut up? Returfed. And that's it for eight. OK, so uttered and um, what was yours? Refuted. And returfed. That's a nice one for eight. OK, well, eight good points there. So we go to 42, Karen, and 63, Peter. Letters for Karen, please. Uh, consonant, please. L. And another one. G. And another one. S. And another one. N. And a vowel, please. O. And another one. A. And another one. E. And a consonant, please. M. And a, a consonant, please. And a consonant. T. Good. OK, no snogging in the next 30 seconds, please. <laughs> Karen? Um, eight. Peter? Seven. Well, here's seven from Peter. Mangles. Yes, mangles. Now an eight. Uh, montages. Well, that'll be good if that's in, isn't it? Very good. But you can have a plural of a montage. Yes. It's there. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Well done, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon? Well, we've got uh, for eight letters magnetos, which is that bit in the car nobody knows what it looks like. <laughs> There's also megatons for eight as well, so uh, actually those are all anagrams of each other for eight. Good. OK, but uh, montage, very good. Montage is very good. So, 63 and 50, back in the game, Karen, well done. Now, three rounds left. Letters for Peter. Consonant, please, Colonel. D. And another. R. And a third. P. Vowel. O. Another vowel. A. And a third vowel. I. A consonant. S. Another consonant. X. And a final consonant. And F. Very good. Here we go. So, Peter? Just five. Right, now, Karen? Yes, just five, two. Right, here, well, here, Peter's five. Fears. Fears. Roads. Roads, and, yes. yes. They're both fine. Uh, there is a six there, which is rapids, speaking of faults. Rapids is there for six. Mm. But roads there is one of ours. Rapids. Well, we don't end very well on the letters, only getting five there, but 68 and 55 now. <laughs> Are you chastened by what you did before, Karen? Um, is it my turn? It is for the numbers, yes. I'll have another go. <laughs> right, ooh. <laughs> Just for a laugh. Uh, six small ones, please. <laughs> ah, I think the joke's on us here. Six small ones, OK. Mm -hmm. I don't think the last one was possible, actually, Karen, cos no. um, <laughs> I was uh, 15 below, but couldn't seem to get any higher. Four, four, nine, six, six and eight. So they're higher, oh. which is probably just as well. <laughs> Nine hundred and seventy-six. OK, nine, seven, six, everybody. Nine, seven, six.
on 976. Carol's still at work. Have you got it, Karen? Yes. Uh, no, I haven't got it on the nose, but 978. OK. Two away. Peter? No, 966. 966? Yeah. So 978 is a chance. Let's go 978, then. Right. 4 times 4 is 16. Yeah, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 8 is 108. Mm -hmm. Times by 9 is 972. Yeah. And then I've added the 6 on. Yeah, shame you haven't got another 4 there, really. Yes. Uh, yes, that's 8 times... Hang on. Well, that's not right. Eight. 16 times 8 is 128. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Yeah, sorry. So you're 10 hours, yeah. I'm afraid. Mm. Oh, dear. And w what would you have? What are you looking at, Peter? I said 966. Six. Nine, 10 away with a chance. Mm. 9 times 8. 72. 9 multiplied by the 8 is 72, yeah. And 6 times 4. 6 multiplied by the 4 is 24. 24. Add that to the 72 is 96. 96. And then if you can produce another 6 from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, we all tried terribly hard. It's not the winning that matters, the taking part. My gosh, they've certainly taken part. OK. Um, is there another 6 there, though? Um, no, there isn't. I was eight away, unfortunately, so not worth writing down. But uh... why hasn't he got that other six? I'm oh, sorry, call me old-fashioned, but let's look at the board again. Nine plus six times four twenty-four. Nine, there's another. There's two sixes at the top. So he's got another six, hasn't he? No, yeah. I was knitting. Si I added six to four to get the ten to multiply. The and then he wanted to add another six on after that, Richard. Okay. Yeah. Right, well, we tried hard there, but we'll look at the score, which is 68 and 55. So we now come to the conundrum. And if everyone's ready, please now reveal. Do you want to put the finger poised? There it is, Karen. Please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. No one has got it, so I look at the studio. Hands up and a big shout of anyone's got it. I can see one, two, three, four, five. Shout it out, please. Batoning. Batoning, this five of them say, and I think they're absolutely right. So, well, what can I say? 55 to Karen and 68 to Peter. Still in the chair. Well done, Peter. Well done, Peter Coots. <laughs> nice, <Karen. laughs> Very well. Well, I have to say, uh, Karen, I'm saying well done to him, well done to you, because you've held him to his lowest score, so that's a, that's a, <laughs> a little triumph, isn't it? So, well done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. Very much so. OK, much and so. he was quite close at the end, but it was, a, it was a, your numbers game. You, you made a rod for your own back with those. Why did you do that? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did your boys know that? Mum, you're stupid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, you're a great sport, OK, and a lovely contestant. So we say farewell with a goodie bag to a good girl, Karen Meredith. <laughs> So now we have uh, Chris Young from St Andrews. Hello, Chris. Hello. Would you have chosen all those little ones? No. <laughs> Did you get the conundrum? No. Are you looking forward to taking on Peter Coots? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man of few words. He's a man of few words. <laughs> oh, I think she's got it. I think uh, I've Googie, got Googie's yeah, got it. Yeah, not easy today. Uh, 6 plus 12 is, eight is 18. Multiplied by 6 is 108. Uh, times nine, and then you're left with a four to add on. But that was about two minutes later, so... OK. Well, well done. Well done. So we say farewell. Farewell. And the high Thank point you. of the game to Simon and Samson. Simon and Samson and Vorderman is there saying goodbye. And Bye. Whiteley is here also saying goodbye. That's our email address. Please write to us, or good old-fashioned uh, writing, or even a phone call will do. We'd love to hear from you until tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>Cliff Richard and Eunice Stubbs are two young things taking a double-decker to sunny Europe. Summer holidays, tomorrow afternoon's film at 1.20. Well, next on Full Daytime, it's Richard and Judy, and they've got details about today's show coming up in just a moment.